shall walk. First and foremost, we give all praises, glory, power to the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Rakhah Kadash. Shalom to all the brothers out there. Shalom to the kings. Shalom to all the brothers and sisters doing the work of the Most High, risking your life in your privacy, being attacked. You know, by the wicked, the rebellious, the enemy, the kun of our people, the unbeliever. You know, shalom, shalom to the family. Shalom, shalom. This is the brother Frankie coming at you. Just to continue to do the work, man, as we got to do it, man. We got to bring it out. Day and night, whether it be hot, whether it be cold. You know, we got to bring it out because our people, they're very, very super rebellious. Our people, wicked and rebellious. See what I'm saying? So shalom, shalom, shalom. And we're going to get out to it. We're going to get into it. Bring up a precept concerning the Passover, the Lord Passover over the land of Egypt, right? Just to give understanding, enlightenment to our people, right? And at the same time, we'll be highlighting our northern kingdom, rebellious northern kingdom, whether they'll, they'll kill or whether they'll, they'll forbear. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, bear with me. We'll be going to it back and forth. Okay, we'll be going to it back and forth. Bear with me, right? So, you know, you know her. We gotta do what we gotta do. Right? All praises to the most high, all praises. Right? All praises to the most high. Shalom, shalom, shalom to the family, shalom everybody, shalom. Shalom. Kwam Yashala, Kwam Yashala. All praises to the most high, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, forever and ever and ever. Shalom to all the brothers out there, man. The Israelites, all the kings. We say Shalom, peace be unto you, and we wish you still Happy New Year, Happy New Year in the name of the Most High, through His only begotten and beloved Son, Yahusha Mashiach. Shalom, King, Shalom, Shalom, King. We say all praises, all praises to the Most High. You know, stay strong. We gotta stay strong. We understand. You know, we gotta go through trial and tribulation. We gotta go through trial, trials. The Most High gotta test our spirit, right? The Most High gotta try every one of us. You see what I'm saying? To see whether we be in faith or not. So our duty is to always keep in mind that this work, this work, we got to go through all the thorns. We got to go through, you know, a lot of things. But we got to always remember that the most side is trying for a while, right? For the time, just for a season. Then he'll, he'll draw us back, man. The most side, he got our back. As long as we trust and we believe in the most side. As long as we trust and we believe in the most side. In this new year, right? The most side, he'll be loading in many of our people, many of our brothers and sisters with more wisdom more knowledge right knowledge and wisdom right to more of our people knowledge and wisdom right so all we got to do is stay focused stay strong continue to do the work right not be moved regardless what the enemy do regardless what some of the sell out the corner of our people do we we'll still stand for the work of the most high right we always gonna stand for the most high right so without any further ado we're going to it i'm gonna dress up of Cup of precept, right? We will go through cup of precept first and foremost. We we'll start with the book of Exodus, right? All right. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. We we'll start right here. First and foremost, let's go. Let's go to Matthew. As I was going through Matthew today, reading Matthew with somebody, right? So let's see. Let's go in the book of Matthew. Right. Let's go in the book of Matthew. Right. So, we'll go to Matthew, and then we are, uh, I can also go to the book of uh, Mark. All right. So, just to, I want to bring the point out, because that's the issue among our people, man. You see what I'm saying? That's the issue among our people. Right. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to read this quick, right? I'm going to go right here in the book of Matthew. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15. Because that is the spirit of our people, right? That is the spirit of most of our people, the so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Indian, according to your father. Don't get it twisted. We, you know, we refer to your father, your lineage, your bloodline. is based on your father, not your mama. I understand that. So, our people this day, because of the lie that we talk in a Christian church, in Islam, all these things, right? They only give to the Most High what? Lip services, right? They don't want to keep the commandment of the Most High. They don't want to do anything. But they got time to go to a work. They want to go to the job, worship Esau. They want to worship, you know, the Moabite. They want to worship Hamite. They want to do all type of feel like weakness, right? But when it comes to the Most High, they have no clue. 
And when you're trying to give them wisdom, they say, no, man, we got it. They say they got it. You see what I'm saying? So let's go right here. So this is the book of Matthew, chapter 15. And let's read from verses 7. He said, ye hypocrite, well did Isaiah prophesy of you? Who Isaiah? The prophet Isaiah. Okay? He already, the most already revealed unto Isaiah, right? He said, well, he said, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, these people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. With what? Their mouth. Right? They don't do anything the most I say. They don't do anything, right? He said, and honor me with their lips, lip services. And that's what you see, man. Most of our people in the Christian church, what do they do? Lip services. When you holler at them, they say no. They say, you know what? I'm a Christian. You see what I'm saying? Lip services. They don't believe in the most High. And that's the main reason why the most High said, you know what? We perish. We are destroyed because we lack wisdom. Since we lack wisdom, destruction is going to follow us. Right? He said, by the heart, I mean your mind, okay, by the heart, right, is far from me. But in vain, they, they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandment of men. So when the government tell them they got to wear masks, they got to wear two masks, 25 masks, they'll do it. But the most I say, listen, the woman, you can't wear no pain. He said, man, you got to be the, the one in the, in the house, you, you're the leader. You see what I'm saying? They don't want to do anything like that. But when Esau tell them, the wicked, the devil tell them, guess what? They'll do it, man. 24 say, yes, sir. Yes, master. Yes, sir. Yes, master. Because what? They're ignorant. They don't know any better. They're ignorant. You see what I'm saying? They're ignorant. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, actually. Let's go into Isaiah. For Christ, Yahushua Mashiach, he was quoting from the book of Isaiah. Because a lot of you out there in the Christian church, you said the Lord done it with me. You said the Lord done, the, the prophet that done away with. That's what you say. That's what they're teaching the Christian church. They say you ain't got to keep the commandment. The commandment done away with it already. Right? Let's go right here. Right? Let's go right here. Because the most I know, man, the most I know everything our people do, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Let's go right here. Right? So, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 13. Right? Let's read it. Say, hypocrisy of the people which people which people is the most High calling hypocrite the most High is calling the so-called blacks the so-called nigerian beninese the the Jama the so-called jamaican the so-called mexican latino and native Indian. the most High say we are hypocrite and that's correct because we don't follow the most High, right who do we follow we follow iso we follow the conquistador we follow the enemy the slave master the one that have been oppressing us right that's the main reason why the most high let's see say, wherefore the Lord say, for as much as these people draw near me with their mouth, they say all day long. We know God. We know Jesus. That's what they say all the day, all day long. Yeah, I go to church, I go worship the sun on a Sunday. I go to some worship service every Sunday to worship the sun. I got my pastor. I do this and that. What? Let's see what the most high said. He said, Wherefore, the Lord say, for as much as these people draw near me. With their mouth, what? Their boca. The mouth. Pa, 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 pa. That's how they do. Right? And with their lips, do honor me. But have removed their heart far from me. Your heart is your mind. Because this is your heart. This is not your heart. Who teach you this? That this is your heart. Esau. Cesar Bogia tell you, Cesar Bogia, the wicked, the devil, Satan taught you that this is your heart. Guess what? According to the Bible, okay, according to the Bible, to the most high, your heart is your mind. You have a headache because if you have a heart ache or heart attack you die you understand that unless the most high be with you but if the most high you know toss you out throw the, the window you gone buddy okay understand that so the most high referring to your mind your head your cabeza okay understand that let's see he said what he said but i've removed the heart far from me and the fear to where me is taught by the precept of man. You see that? You see that? The most I say, you know what? They want to listen to Esau. They want to worship the man. They want to worship men. They want to worship slave master. You see what I'm saying? That's what people want to do. So-called blacks, Latino, and native Indian. That's what they know. They don't know any better. And they don't like the truth. They love darkness. They hate Yahweh Shamashia. They hate the light. And they love Satan. They don't understand it. 
And that's why the most I say, to tell they gotta go, man. To tell they gotta go, they gotta be, listen, they gotta go. They worship idol, right? They got all type of thing, fit the thing. And you can't tell them. Let's see what else the most I say. He said, therefore, behold, I'll proceed to do a marvelous work among these people. So the most I said, listen, man, I'm gonna do something amazing. It's gonna be like a wonder. So some people of the other nation, when they see, they'll be like, hmm, what's going on? You see what I'm saying? Why? Because let's see. He said, therefore, behold, I'll proceed to do a marvelous work among these people, even a marvelous work and a wonder for the wisdom of the wise man shall perish. You see that? And that's what's happened. Shalom, King. Shalom, Shalom. You see that? The most I say, even those, like T.D. Jakes, right? Al, Al Chapton, right? Jay-Z, uh, Oprah Winfrey, those that claim that they are our leader, those that claim that they are our this and that, all this, all this weakness. What did the most I say he's going to do? He said, well, and that's what's happened to the Pharisees. Because the Pharisees back in those days, they were khaki. You know, that thing, okay, you know what? We know Moses. We know the law of Moses. And they were khaki. That thing, they got it. And the same thing, the most already prophets, like he gave that ahead to who? Isaiah. So Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to prove that everything written in the Bible, it will be in the effect. What did he do? He went to Isaiah. He grabbed the book of Isaiah. And he read it from the book of Isaiah to give what understanding to our people. Still, they don't understand. And guess what? After he said that, the Pharisee, the Sadducee, the scribe, the elder, those of the rebellious and wicked, guess what? They get cut to the spirit. They didn't even like that. Because the Ahasha Mashiach, he rebuked them to the first man, right? Let's see what he said again. He said, for the wisdom of the wise men shall perish, and the understanding of the prudent men shall be hid. And that's what is happening. They don't have wisdom in the Christian church. They don't have it. Wisdom is gone through all the window. The most like took it away. They don't understand. They don't know what's going on. And you can't tell them the truth. You can't tell hey, come out of it, brother. Listen, you can't repent, bro. That's why Yahweh Shai gave us the grace. You can't repent. You can come out. Come out from that, that thing. Come out of it. Repent and seek the most high. Keep the commandment. You can't do it if you want to. Right? Because we don't force anybody to keep the commandment of the most high. Because at the end of the day, every one of us, we got to work for our own salvation. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? We got to work for our own salvation. Right? He said, Woe unto them that seek deep, deep to hide the counsel from the Lord. How do they do it? They don't want to go to the most high. They'll go to the, to the lying pastor. They'll go to the pastor on the sun worship day to worship the pastor. Right? And pay the tithe. Right? Hold on. Right? That's what they do. But they won't go onto the Bible. They will not take the Bible and read it. Oh, they see a brother like they see me right here. They just kept on working. You see what I'm saying? They kept on working. They ain't got no time for the most high. You see what? No, they were, they, the funny thing is it is. They always think in their mind that you know what they're doing well. But the scripture said there is a way that seems righteous unto a man. But the aid thereof is death. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to be death for many of our people. Mainly the two-thirds, man. They got to go. There's nothing we can do about it. And the most I already said it up from the beginning. Because he knows the heart of every one of us. The most I know it, right? Let's see. He said, well, woe to them that seek deep to hide the counsel from the Lord. And the works are in the dark. What do they do? Weakness. All they do. Weakness. Because guess what? If you ain't keeping the commandment of the Most High, what are you doing? You're doing everything in the darkness. That darkness. Because Yahweh Shah Mashiach is that light that came out to us. Right? Understand that? He said, and they say, who see us? Because most of our people, when they're doing their weakness, you know what they say? Oh, God is not going to judge me because I'm wearing paint. God does not look at God look at your heart. That's what they be saying, Christian. That's what they say all day long. They say, God is not going to judge me because I eat pork. God said, you can eat whatever you want to do. You can do this, blah, 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 blah. Paul said, what do they go? They'll go to Paul. They say, you know, Paul said, let no man judge you on this. One. Guess what? You don't understand. The spirit of what I gave Paul is to bring a lot of people to war to their own destruction. Okay? Peter, he made it clear. But you got to have wisdom. If you ain't got no wisdom, you can't proceed to understand it. You can't get understanding. Understand that? All right? So let's see. He said, who see us? And who know us? So you see them, the woman is wearing pain when you tell the woman you can't wear pain. I said, no. God doesn't look at that. God doesn't look at you because you, no, 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 no. God doesn't go, God look at the heart, right? Guess what? You hiding it, you can't hide. The most I see you. And when the most I bring bloodshed, you're going to be taken. You're going to be taken. Right? Understand that? Let's see. 
verse 16, he said, surely you're turning of things upside down. Why? Because you see, in our family, in our houses, the woman is the one trying to run the house. Right? The so-called black woman, the so-called Latino woman, they want to be like this Edomite woman. And they want to run over the husband. They want to rule over the household. But the most like establish an order. You got the most like Yahweh, you got Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you got the men, you got the woman and the children. That's the order the most like established. So anyone who goes against it, then you put yourself in a state of war, being an antichrist. Right? Because when you go to First Corinthians chapter 11, what did Paul say? He said, well, let all things be done in order, man, in decency. And when you go to First Corinthians 11, Paul said, well, remember, I gave you all these ordinances, right? As it was delivered unto me, right? That we should remember Paul in all things that we do, right? And Paul said, well, the head of Yahweh Shia Mashiach is the most high Yahweh. And the head of the woman is who? The man. Understand that? So there is an other. Okay, if you go against that order, that will put you in the state of being what anti-Christ. Understand that, right? Okay. So the most I say says, surely your turning of thing upside down shall be esteemed as the poorest clay. You see that? They flip everything upside down. The woman is wearing pants, and the man is wearing the woman dresses. And you don't know who's who that's confusing the land, right? The woman went equal right with the man, and you don't know what's going on. Men want to deal with men, and women with women. Fifth, abominable thing, man, that's the most I hate. Right, so this is the new year. Hey, we call on the brother and the sister to repent and go on to the most high. Repent and return on to the most high before the day, man. That day of, listen, man, hey, repent. That's what we tell the brother every day. He said, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the product claim. For sure the word say of him that made it. He made me not. So who are we to go against the most high? Right? Like a lot of people, they say, oh, it's my body. I can do whatever. No, man. Okay, understand that. You belong to the most high. It's not your body. Your body is the temple of the most high, which in which the, the spirit of the most high dwell in it. Right? We got to understand that. He said, he made me not. Or shall the thing frame say of him that are framing? He had no understanding. Is not yet a very little why and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. So the most high is saying, you know, some brother that will be cleansed up, and that's what you see right now. That's why you see a lot of brother they're waking up through you know Facebook, Twitter, you know, Instagram. You know, the brother they're waking up, young brother, elder, you know, young sister, or you know, elder sister, they're waking up, right? Because the most high is sanctifying Israel right now. The Most High is sanctifying Israel. The Most High is cleaning us right now before the face of the nation. Okay? So, we're just going to put that out there. That's what they do, man. So, without any further ado, we're going to go into a couple of precepts concerning the, the Passover, right? We'll be going to a couple of precepts concerning the Passover. So, without any further ado, we're going to go a little bit into the detail of the history about the Passover, right? So, without any further ado, let's start right here. We'll go in the book of Exodus, right? And we'll read verses 1 through 3. Okay? Let's read it. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. And the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, In the land of Egypt, saying, He said, This month shall be unto you the beginning of month. It shall be the first month of the year to you. So the first month of the year is Abib. The word Abib or Nisan just means what? Fresh baby, green ear of what? Barley. That's what the word means. Barley. It just means fresh. That's how the Mosa established from the beginning. Understand that? And I'm going to show you something. For some of you don't understand, right? If you, you believe that January is the beginning of the year, then you talk wrong, buddy. Let me prove it to you quick. Right, I got this book right here. Okay, you see this this book right here? Okay. You see the book? It's called what? The Pagan Book of Day, a guide to the festival tradition and sacred day of the year. By who? Nigel Panic. Okay. Right. So everybody can see. Okay. That's the book right there. We're gonna go into it. I wanna read you something quick. For a lot of people they don't have understanding, they like to talk, right? And they like to argue in vain, right? We'll prove it to you. All right, let's go right here. Let's go right here. All right. 
in the beginning. All right, let's let's see. That's where we tell you, man. It has nothing to do with the Most High. There we go. This is your January right there. You see it? That's your God. Okay? You that believe that January is the beginning of the year, this is what you're worshiping. Okay? That's what you believe in. That's what you're worshiping. Whether you know or not, that's what you believe in. Okay? Okay? So we're going to read it to you. January, you believe that January is the beginning of the month? We tell you name, eh? Okay, let's read it. It's a January. It is a sacred to the Roman God. You see that? So it's literally is a Roman God. It's an Edomite God. Idol, my God. Okay, he's an idol. He got double head, double faces. Okay, let me show you. You see the image right there? You see that? Double faces. You see that, right? Okay, understand that. Okay, you see that? Double faces. Okay, that's why you worship. That's why a lot of people, they don't understand. So we want to give you understanding that the beginning of the year is what? Well, the spring season. The spring season, which started war, well, I'll say, on the 13th, which is end of 12 sundown or 13. Okay, understand that? Okay, the 13, the new year started. The new year started. So if you didn't know and you ignorantly celebrated, this is the time that you repent, brother and sister. You can repent, repent, and follow the holy biblical calendar. You got to track the moon. You got to track the moon to understand. Track the moon and get understanding. Seek the most high now that he's nigh. Understand that, okay? So let's read it. He said, January is sacred to the Roman god Janus. You see that? The god called Janus. You see right there? That's what you, the word mean. They just twisted it around in English. You understand what I'm saying? They just twist it to you to deceive you so you can believe more. Right? Okay? The two-faced divinity of ending and beginning. You see that? It has nothing to do with the Bible. He said the two-faced divinity. So it's the type of God with like what and beginning you see that janus is the male equivalent of one of the version of the goddess you see that a goddess another woman god that i said this is the male version okay of the goddess juno janus who in her two-faced aspect of antevata and postovata looks simultaneously forward and backward as does janus you see that so it's the same weakness, man. So what you, you believe in is a lie, man. You believe in deception. Hola. Tiene un minuto por la palabra de Dios. Huh? There we go. It says, January marks the beginning of the new year, yet contain element of that which went before. Its quality it does one of the new possibility by constraint by that which took place in the old year before it. In modern Asatru, this month is known as a snow moon. Okay, you see that? In the American backwood tradition, the full moon of January is called the wolf moon. The backwoods name of the full moon derived from early New England settlers and trapper and Native American tradition, right? So you see this? They're giving you detail. They say, you know what you're worshiping? You're worshiping well, the double-faced idols, okay, called Janus, right? Now let's prove you what is the beginning of the year, right? Let me show you, right? What is the beginning of the year? Let's see. Let's go to the book of, uh, we'll go to the page, this page right here, okay? And we're gonna share with our audiences, right? This is from this book, right? Brother and sister, check it out. It's from this book, right? If you don't know, right? It's from this book, and we're gonna read this right here. Let me share it with you. We're gonna read mainly this passage right here. The one that said 28 March. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read it. 28 March. Okay, so you can see 28 March. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and read that. Right? Let's read it. It said 28 March. St. Max Eve sacrifice at the tomb palace. He said the threat is the party accomplished. So that's a document. Okay? That's a document written in Latin. Understand that? It's a document, it's a heavy document. I read it. He said, stated that the sun and moon were created on the 28th March. So based on that article, right? But that article, they see go back into war, into our forefather, the Jews. And some of the Jews that were dispersed throughout the fucking of this earth, right? Let's see. He said, 
before the adoption, okay, let's read it. He said before the adoption, okay, he said before the adoption of 25 December as the correct date, you see, is in a quotation. Okay, you see that? He said before. So he said the day 25 has been adopted. By who? The Roman, the wicked, the Edomite, right? He said before the adoption of 25 December as the correct date in 336 CE at Rome, this date was given as the date of the nativity of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You see that? So they say Jesus was born literally on March 28th. You see that? The spring season. Huh? Okay. But what did they tell the Christian? They tell the Christian, oh, January, December 25, right? Watch that. He said, well, before, before the adoption of 25 December as the correct date in 336 CE, at Rome, this date was given as the date of the nativity of Jesus. Today is also the old Roman festival of sacrifice at the tomb, acknowledging the ancestor as well as St. Mark's Eve. So you see that? So that's why we tell you, man. How much the original of the American? How much it is? You sell it or? No, right now, maybe some of the book, the price is up. Maybe you see funny for cheap. You can take a picture. And you look it up. You see what I'm doing? You, you feel free. You take, you take a, a picture. This one is is very very heavy too. And this one right here, for example, I'll show you something quick. This book right here is a very heavy book. You see that? So I'm, I'm gonna show you to my to my YouTube and my my Facebook public, right? The origin of the American Indian, right? European concept, 1492, 1729. So this is a very old book. So I wanna show you. For example, a lot of people. With the people of the Bible, the so-called Latino, Native Indian, the so-called Blacks or Negro, with the people of the Bible, just that we don't know because we sin against the Most High since the time of our forefathers. So I want to read this to you, so you see quick. Let me see if I can, if I can, I can, I can, I can get it quick, right? I want to read you something. So on page uh, sixty, let me see. All right, quick. Right here, I think it's the eighty-one. This is the eighty-one. All right, so you see this, right? I highlight it, right? In yellow right there. I want to show it to my audience, right? You see, the highlight part, I'm going to read it to the brother, right? I'm going to read it to the brother, right? He said, the Mexican, right? The Mexican, right? The Aztec are originally of the 10 tribes captured by Salman Nasser and of the family of Issachar. So the Mexican, according to the Bible, they were not called Mexicans. They were called Issachar. Right, because when you look right here, this is the 12 tribe chart of the 12 tribe of Israel, the so-called Latino native Indian, right? So the, the Mexican, that's the biblical name. That's how God called him, Isaka. That's why if you take a look at Mexico, it's a very big country, right? Why? Because they were the chief leader for the, North, the, the native Indian that were living in North America. Now, when you go to South America, you got the one that were in Peru and Bolivia, the menu, you see what I'm saying? So. This is some of the history that we don't know because watch this. He said the Mexicans are originally of the ten tribe, captured by Salman Nasser and of the family of Issachar, whom the Indian recognized as their special ancestor. You see what I'm saying? So this guess what? You know, it's written in this book right here. It's written in this book. So this is the apocrypha, right? Have you have you heard of this before? Oh yes, no, I think so. So this it used to be part of the Bible. So what happened? Remember that all the churches. Oh, those are the first five books. No, no, but uh, the.